Hello friends, it's Miss Christy from the Clairview Library District. Welcome to Storytime with ASL. We like to sing songs and tell stories, but also learn some of the words in American Sign Language. Well, first we gotta do our hello song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello. Well, today we're reading a special story called Can Bear Ski? And this is a story about a little bear who is going to school and going through life, but he's having a hard time hearing people. He, every time somebody asks him, can you hear me? He thinks they're saying, can bear ski? So his dad takes him to a special doctor. This is the sign for doctor. And here's our doctor right here. Well, this doctor tests your hearing and it's called an audiologist. That's how you sign audiologist. And here's our doctor right here and she's testing this little girl's ears. And this little boy is having a hearing test. He has some headphones on and there's some noises going through the headphones and he's supposed to let them know if he can hear it. And then over here, we have some hearing aids. And this is a sign for a hearing aid and they amplify sound so you can hear better. And our little bear right here has some hearing aids on. Well, our book is called Can Bear Ski and it's written by Raymond and Trobus and illustrated by Polly Dunbar. Our author and illustrator are both deaf. That's the sign for deaf. The sign for hearing is like this. And that's because hearing people use their mouth or voices to communicate. Little bear is hard of hearing. This is how you sign hard of hearing. You have two fingers and you cross over. Hard of hearing. Okay, let's read our book. Can bear a ski? I'm gonna scoot over here. Dad bear has a hard time waking me up in the morning. One, the radiator shakes. Two, the bed rumbles like a large, empty tummy. Three, the windows by my bed tremble. Four, Dad Bear takes one heavy step forward and the ceiling cracks. Five, my eyes snap awake. I explode out of bed. My feet hit the ground. I'm up, I'm up. I put on sky blue socks and my orange pants and a yellow sweater. I like my colors loud. It's been snowing. Everything feels still, no rumbling. No trembling. It's like everything is breathing quietly. Then I feel Dad's voice. One, the banister shakes. Two, pictures wobble. Three, the stairs flinch. I'm coming, I'm coming, I say. I gobble, gobble breakfast. Dad Bear has the TV on. I can see a man in a blue snowsuit, snowsuit skiing fast down a slope. Dad Bear is saying something to me. I think he says, can Bear ski? I shrug. I'm not sure I heard him right. I eat the last of my porridge. Time for school. Dad Bear talks a lot on our way to school. I hear the crunch, crunch, crunch of the snow. Dad Bear stops and looks directly at me. Your friend was saying hello. Why didn't you, why did you ignore him? I didn't, I didn't. Then Dad Bear asks again, can Bear ski? Is that really? What he's asking me? Te 
teacher bear approaches dad bear. I can only hear little pieces of what they are saying. I have to sit front of class. Teacher bear stamps on the ground. I feel the ground shake, so I look up. He is some saying something to me, but I can't quite work it out. I wonder if it's in bear ski. David Bear sits next to me at lunch. He is talking a lot. Suddenly laughter bursts out everywhere. But I don't know what everyone is laughing at. He asked me a question. Can bears ski? I don't know. One day back, Dad Bear picks me up early. We are going to meet someone with a name I can't say. He writes her name like this. A, D, A, L, L, O, G, I, S, T. It's a really hard word to say. She puts headphones on my head and she wants me to put a block on the table every time I hear a sound. You see, there's the blocks he's putting on the table. Then she shows us something called an audiogram. It's also a hard word to say. On the audiogram, my results are the shape of a ski slope. I imagine myself skiing down it. The audiologist asks, can bears ski? After a week and a few more tests, I start hearing therapy and lip reading classes too. The audiologist gives me plastic ears called hearing aids. They feel uncomfortable at first. Everything sounds like robots. The audiologist asks, can you hear me? Whoa, is life that loud? Sometimes I get tired and sounds stop making sense, no matter how loud it is. And sometimes I take my hearing aids out and I lose them. Guess I'm not used to them yet. Kinberski, I still don't know how to answer that question. Dad Bear reads a story aloud. He looks directly at me. I can say, see his whole face and he speaks very clear. I can feel his big voice and I see the words on the page. So I follow Dad's bear, Dad Bear's finger. There is a big picture of the moon. I know what the moon is saying because I can see its whole face and the moon is speaking clearly. Can you hear me? Says the moon. And I say, bears can ski. The end. That was a good story, wasn't it? I wanted to read that story today to you guys because I have some things in common with Little Bear. Miss Christy is also hard of hearing. I am deaf in one ear. Deaf in one ear. So I am hard of hearing. And I also am a skier. That's the sign for ski. So I'm a skier. So I wanted to read that story, and then next time we do our story time together, we're going to go on a ski trip together. And we're going to need some equipment for our ski trip. I need to wear my helmet and my goggles, and then here's ski boots and skis and poles.
So I hope you join me next time where we are going to read a story about skiing and go on a ski trip together. I'll see you next time. Let's do our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, friends. I'll see you next time.